had to wait for a possum to get out of my way. And this is where I want to be. And welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. It is after 1 a.m. in the morning. I can't sleep. There's a lot of resurfacing work going on real close to my house. Very loud, very loud. So I might not be able to get the fish later today because severe weather is supposed to be on the way. So this might be the only chance. I'm back down at the river here at one of my usual spots behind this sketchy dock. Not gonna film the casting for obvious reasons. We're using six aughts, usual stuff. Left the gut pocket on that piece of mullet. It's a fillet style. Using four ounces of lead here still. We are really far out in front of where I used to fish and there is lightning across the river. We might see some rain on this session. The river is down just, I think ben just beneath 10 right now because the tide is out. Over here we have the same rig. Four ounces of lead and no roll. A little bit bigger piece of mullet with the gut pocket left on. Both baits are out there now and that current is still strong even though the river has dropped a little bit since we were last here. They're both trucking to the right going down river. I'm not trying to be here till the sun comes up, but I, I may be, who knows. That bad weather is actually forecasted for the moment to come in around that time. So we might just be here for a couple hours. Now it could change any second. It could start raining. We do have cloud cover over us. There is lightning, but it's not in this area. It's a good ways away from us still. If it gets in this area, starts coming down close, the lightning that is, I will jet. Yesterday, the day was really hot. A lot of pop-up thunderstorm chances with 90 degree weather from the low 90s to the mid 90s, very humid. It is 80 something out here right now. Pretty humid night. Big ship just went down river. I'm kind of anticipating a bite from that. It may or may not happen. It's the same thing as a barge bite. It's the ship going by and its wake. It makes the fish move around. They eventually find your bait because they're scattering. We're in shallower water than usual because the river has dropped, but we're still in 20 feet of water at least which is good. Water temps are warmer though there than they were last week. So there's a chance that we could end up with gar because sometimes when I'm fishing this in summer, late summer when it's a lower level around this dock here where we're at, gar show up. Cats as well, but gar, big alligator gar. You can hear the peak of that wake coming traveling to us this isn't the the peak of it yet well, that lightning across the way is kind of crazy looking it is now 2 a.m we've been here for maybe maybe 40 minutes with baits in the water something like that just had a bite on this rod here on the left and the bait has reorientated itself slightly a little more to the right after that bite it was just a little tap tap nothing serious might want to reposition that bait pretty slow to start this session so far i expect to get something though repositioning you're gonna keep going with that yes you are Finally, this is the second bite with a really good result and a really low battery now that I look down. But I think we can do this here. Yeah, we got plenty of battery to bring this hoss in. This is like a typical night, typical night. Not a lot of bites, but once you get get one on it's not bad oh he's already beaver telling way out there i'm gonna bring him in nice and easy he's giving us a little bit of white water gymnastics out there a 
it's just a little bit after two now. Totally worth waiting for, because it's not some little tiny gaff top. It's probably going to be a decent blue cat. Not feeling so heavy now, are you? Oh, wait a minute, there he goes. Oh, oh, I think we're, we might possibly have a double. We just got another bite. Got a bite on the other rod. We need to get this fish up here just in case that bends over too. Sorry, I'm not showing you guys this fish coming in. I'm looking at the other rod. Well, you can see it, right? All right, he's up here at the water line. I'll go ahead and come out here, grab him real quick. Oh, yeah, that's a decent 20 pound class fish right there. Check him out. I thought we had enough battery for this guy. I wonder if we got enough battery for someone else because yeah, decent fish for this time of night. Big mouth, big head. Oh, now that I pick him up, I take that back. Almost a 20 pound class fish. Almost there. 19.6. I know a lot of guys don't dig knife fishing, but it can be really rewarding. It's okay if you don't like knife fishing. I do though, because of this, this is the reason. Hopefully we get something even bigger. There he goes. All right, we're gonna rebait up. I guess one of the things that some people don't like about night fishing are critters, maybe sketchy people too. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it really freaks me out when somebody sketchy comes up especially at a spot like this where I rarely get visited when I'm fishing in the middle of the night. But there is something sketchy. Well, it's not really sketchy, but he is coming up. There's a pair of glowing golf balls right on the other side of this willow here. Come on, let's go see. He's just right here. Oh, he went down. <laughs> where did he go? <laughs> alligators you can't get away from them here in southeast louisiana they're absolutely everywhere it is now after 3 a.m i only wanted to fish for a couple of hours thanks for watching liking sharing subscribing and i'll see you next time